Hi Aries, this is going to be your reading for 2020. Can't believe I'm saying 2020, but here we are. Um, been a very, very, very quick year. I'm, read, I'm doing this in 2019, okay, December 2019 for the year coming up. Now remember, this is just a general reading. Please look at your moon, your ascendant sign to give you a better idea of what will be going on for you. Um, I've looked over these cards quite a bit and there's so many people playing, there's, there's so many kind of court cards, people cards if you like, in this reading that it seems that your year is taken up so much with, I don't know if it's your family, friends, colleagues, but there seems to be a lot of interaction with others for Aries. Um, in 220 or you're certainly taking on board other people's views and opinions and things um it's quite a mixed bag it's almost like you want to do one thing but you're feeling like you have to do something else I'll, we'll get into what it is i'm talking about because i've pulled out the my zero marchetti deck and my little rider wake it's like a little rider wake deck and a lot of the cards have came out duplicating things which makes me think that there's so much you want to do but there's maybe going to be a time where you want to start it you've got to stop it start it later in the year stop it that that kind of idea so just listening to what as i've got to say and remember if something comes out in january and you and it it might be for you that it actually doesn't start for you until, say, May. Because everybody's energy will be different. Some energies might have already started. Not everybody has got the same birth chart. So the energy will be there, but may slightly be out of sync for uh, certain Aries people. Remember, Aries, you're a fire sign. Um, I didn't see a lot of fire in here. But what, well, apart from these one here, but a lot of the people around you seem to be air signs, water signs, that kind of idea, earth signs. You've got a lot of that going around you. And I think that's maybe what you need to balance you out. Okay. So let's get started with no further ado. January, we, we kick the year off with you with the Three of Pentacles. We're starting off with you wanting to maybe collaborate with other people, getting back down to business, starting um, how you mean to go on in 2020. You could be thinking about starting it out on your own and looking for maybe sponsorship or finance in some way or maybe even thinking about going to the bank to get a loan to to start you off. <coughs> but as we can, sorry, I've got a week fog my throat. As you can see the kind of... Um, what do you call that again? The what do you call it when they use that? Oh, what do you call it? That will come back to me. But it's like you're you're working away on something here. But it could be new ideas, how to make money. But there's definitely something here on the back burner that you are going to be taking forward in two twenty. We have the hangman here though, so maybe it won't take off as quickly as you think or maybe you're just stalling a bit at the beginning because maybe you're having to stall to iron out some um little finer details okay it's like finer details you've got to get going before you can take this forward if anybody can remember the name of that please let me know because i'm looking at it and it's on the tip of my tongue You normally see them when they're making horseshoe, horseshoes, is that called? Ah, uh, I can't remember. But it's almost like you've got irons in the fire, that's what I'm trying to say. You've got I ideas, you've got things that you want to get done that, that you're going to have to wait with at the moment. February, again, oh, these are people cards. We've got knights, we've got the knight of cups and the knight of swords coming in. Now, this would be uh, water signs, air signs. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpion, or we have uh, Aries, we have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. These are people that could be coming in to offer their, their knowledge 
or their back, you know, their, to help me get things started. Say you wanted to open a wee shop, these are people you could be getting to help design it or do your, um, maybe do your books or whatever. You could be going along to one of these fairs where um, it's like how is to do a start-up, that kind of idea. I feel that in February, this is where you're going to start to be collaborating with other people. You're trying to get it up and running in the January and the February, It's you've got the ball rolling. Now, I feel as if I'm reading this reading as in for everybody that wants to do work or start off their, their own business, but it's going to be different for everybody. You could be looking to move house and looking, to, you know, you've got the irons and the fire of getting your mortgage up and running, getting selling your own house, but not being able to do it at this particular moment and then going and um, getting financial advice about the best mortgage to get, that kind, it's going to be different for everybody. But people are definitely coming into your life to help out at this particular time in February, but um, Aries. In March, again, we've still got this, the Night of um, Cups is still is still there. Now, this could also be you, um, and maybe you're emotionally, you've been running about so much and putting so much energy into what it is that you want to do. We've got the Four of Swords here. I think you're maybe feeling a bit of burnout, okay? You're maybe needing to take a, tie, a step back a step back because in a very short time you've been doing a, a lot of um, movement, a lot of getting everything uh, put down in paper and trying to solidify things. But I think now you've got to kind of take a step back, relax a bit and let things start to unfurl because you could be starting to feel a bit too again emotions you could just be feeling really tired and you, your own energy has been burnt out with us getting into April we've got the Queen of Pentacles here and we have the Eight of Cups now I think this is a time where you've got to look you normally would read the Eight of Cups as walking away for things that don't serve you I think in this case it's discarding things that you you've done all this planning Right, whatever this planning has been, and now you need to was it you need to um, almost get rid of things that you know no longer work. You've tried them out; they no longer work. Keeping the things that do work, that's what I think for this one with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles here could be you yourself. It's not like regarded as an earth sign. I get that, but you yourself starting to say right financially, I need to make a a budget, how much am I, can I do, you know, can I use that I can spare, how much can you put into one thing and not another and I think this is you now looking at things that are an expense that you no longer need. You could be sitting down, something as simple as looking through your um, your expenditure, looking at what you use, maybe, maybe you're looking to change um, suppliers, you know, like if you are in business, you could be looking at suppliers. If you're not in business, and this is to do with the home, so who supplies your energy? Who supplies your electricity, your gas? You could be looking to change that, looking at your finances and walking away from companies that no longer, no longer give the good deals. Um, in May, we have got the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Again, more people. I just I can't get away with this. I mean, and near enough, but every part of your month, there's there's a person showing up that's putting their tuppence worth in. Now, this could be an an air sign, Aries, a Libra, a Gemini, an Aquarius person that is maybe going to be um, giving you good advice. I mean, the King of Swords is somebody, it's a no-nonsense person, okay? They just give you really good advice. That if it was the reverse, I would say stay away from them because they are they can be really harsh. But in this case, it's just someone who is there to maybe guide you in some way or somebody that you can rely on. The King of Swords is someone that you can rely on. They, they, don't, they won't mess you about, they'll just tell you as it is. Because I think in the nine of with the nine of wands here, 
in May you are going to feel maybe a bit um, overwhelmed with things. You've got a lot of work still to get done. Um, you could be looking to build, maybe do some work in your home. Um, maybe you're looking for a new job. You've got you've got a lot to get done. There's a salamander down here, and I can't remember what the significance of salamander. Anybody can remember. Let me let me know because it's significant, and I should know this, but I just I just it's escaped me at the moment. Um, salamander is, is such a it's such it's an animal that is really, sorry I get taken off. I'm so sorry, but there's a huge, massive. I was going to say a crow, but it's got to be bigger than a crow. That has just been right at my window. It was like a raven or something going mad. Sorry, I just got distracted there. The salamander is, is significant in the rider weight, and I'll remember this when I stop doing this reading. I know I will, but it's a, it eludes me at the moment. It's almost like you have to be adaptable. There's go, there's something coming up for you, Aries, in the month of May that you're going to need to adapt to. You're maybe going to need to draw every single bit of strength that you've got. It, all your tools, everything that you have learned or your knowledge is going to be needed in the month of May. For whatever reason. I almost feel like there could be something legal coming up for you in the month of May. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but you're going to need all your, um, everything that you can put your hands on, every bit of knowledge that you know, every every skill that you've got, you're going to need it in May. And I think that this could to be, to be to do with restructuring something in your life, whether it is your home or... Something that you've got to do, you're going to have to use every bit of energy that you've got. In the month of June, we've got two... <laughs> we've got two pages here, two new offers coming in. The Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. I also feel maybe you could just be feeling quite childlike. I think you've been through so much. From the, from the beginning of January right through to May, You've really had it on board. You've really, you know, you've been collaborating, um, trying to get things up and running, looking for for advice from people, um, getting people to help out with certain things. And I think you're just wanting to let go of the responsibilities and almost go be an inner child, go into your inner child again. You could also be doing inner child work. If any of you know what that means, you could be. Um, having a dark night of the soul moment and actually trying to heal your inner child of things that's happened to you in the past. I think everybody should do that actually. Everybody, in my opinion, is damaged in some way through what upbringing. You could have the greatest parents in the world but something just as something. I don't, you know what I mean? Look at doing some inner child work. Especially if this has came up at this particular time. It could have been something as simple or something as normal as parents splitting up and you think that you always go over it and you did, you haven't really. There's just something that's still, um, something's still there. Because when the two pages come out together, I feel that it's to do with yourself. If it's not, it could be you having to, maybe you're going to hear of a birth or your own children are going to be playing a huge part in your life in June. June seems to be a time of new starts, new starts, new starts in the way how you work, new starts in the way how you think. In July we have, I can't but you know, you seem to be doing a lot of walking away for some reason. In July we also have the Eight of Cups, plus we've got the Three, the three of Wands. You are definitely, you're not waiting about anymore, Aries. You're you're going to make you're going to move forward. You're going to change how you've been doing things. No longer stuck um, doing the same old pattern or waiting for somebody else to do it for you. Almost waiting about for somebody else to make changes for you. You're going to just do it yourself because you're walking away from something and moving on to something a lot more fulfilling. You're walking away from things that no longer serve 
And that's a classic statement for the Eight of Cups. That's what the card in itself means. Moving forward to new ground. And as you can see, they're moving to higher ground. So it's always moving. You're moving up. You're, you're ascending. So it's you're moving forward. And with the Three of Wands here, you're no longer standing around. You're going to take the third staff and move forward, leaving these two behind. Two behind and a new start. There's a new start for you in July. Aries. August. You could be quite... This, you have moved away, remember? We have got this, the Six of Cups, which, which normally means nostalgia, looking back to the past. But it could just be looking at happy times. You could just be looking at happy times, Hoping for new a new start, but have you know a new happiness. We've got the children in the garden. We've got the little rabbits moving about. You could be looking at what you want rather than looking back in the past. I think in this case, it's looking forward to what you are going to this, um, plant for yourself because we've got the Knight of Pentacles. You could be looking back in the past of thinking of what you what, what you thought you would have as a child looking at what you wanted for your future, that you wanted, you know, the happy life, to be successful, to be independent. But I think this is actually what you are going to be getting, Aries. I think you're going to be um, the Nine of Pentacles. I think you're going to get the stability that you've always wanted. I think you're going to have the success. Because let's face it, you've put the work in. You're going to have the success that, you're, that you've been um, working towards. And your your wish coming true for what you, what you wanted as a child. Remember, you've done this inner child work, and this is you now. You've healed. I think I honestly do think there's a lot of healing to get done for Aries in twenty twenty. I think you need to heal, heal something from your past. Things that are not working for you now are things that click that set you off. You should look at what, what it is, why it sets you off. And you'll look back and it'll be something from when you were a child. September. Wow. We have got the best wish card. We've got the sun. You have got a wish coming true. Something that you've worked hard, to, you've worked hard for. Something you've been trying to manifest is going to come through for you. And I'll, I'll, we've got the High Priestess here. And I think that's because you've been listening also to your own inner guidance. Hope you can see that without a, that glare. Um, you've been listening to your inner um, your inner voice. Not not listen to everybody all the time. By all means, with all these people coming to give you advice, take, take what you feel works and discard the rest, like most of us do. Because I think this is a time where you've really got to rely on you. You could even be having some kind of psychic manifestations um, come September. You could really be starting to get quite psychic, almost like reading people before they even open their mouth. It's like sussing people out before you know, before you've really got to know them, you get an inner an inner gut feeling. I do that all the time and always feel bad. I think, oh God, why do I think that? I don't even know this person. And I always end up right. So this is a time where you are going to definitely um, listen to your own higher self. You're going to be becoming more psychic. You're going to be, you could even start getting some kind of um, experiences, like paranormal experiences. I really do feel you're going to open up to um, to, th to to realms that have been close to you before. Not close to you, you just weren't um, aware of them. There's going to be a huge awareness, almost like an awakening for Aries in the month of September 2020. October, even when you say 2020, it just, it just sounds like a magical number. October, here we go again. Finances. The Queen of Pentacles, I really do think, rather than this being a person, this is twice the Queen of Pentacles has turned up in this reading, straight across from one another. I really feel that your financial situation is going to be, I think you're going to be getting a payout of some kind, because along with it we've got six of Pentacles, and as you can see, someone is, um, it's almost like um, a fairness, an exchange, like a fair exchange. 
you could be getting what you're what you're worth. The money and energy that you've been putting in, you're now going to get a payoff for it. It's going to make you more um, aware of your finances, being a better financial situation here, and a happier place if you like. Um, could be getting a little windfall, maybe you're going to get something, um, an inheritance, maybe someone's going to gift you something um, in the month of October, Aries. Um, let me see, taking you on to November, again we have a king, more people, the king of pentacles, we have the queen of pentacles here and the king of pentacles, um, air signs and the two of pentacles. With this, you know, this could even be parents, and if they have passed over, this could be parents that are looking over, looking over you and, and guiding you. And I say parents, or even people that, or someone that you regarded as a parent, someone who was just wanted what was best for you. I feel you are going to be getting guidance between October and November, just to see these out. Um, and it's all the it's all to do with your place in this world it's all to do with what you have whether it's your finances your home life what what you own what is, what is yours and i think you are going to definitely be um looking to um not juggle we've got two eventuals here so we man juggling but it's almost like how you are going to take your financial situation forward. How you are going to be, even right down to the best way of paying, paying for things. You know, if you want to even take out, maybe buy a new car, but you want to finance for it, or taking a trip. I mean, here we have here, if you look at the boats, the boats are in really choppy water. I really feel that maybe in November, you have been looking at, how do you get the best investments or the best plans? Remember, we were looking at even how to get the best value for your money. And I think this is what is going to happen. You're, you're definitely going to be looking at how you can make your money work for you. You could even be thinking about taking a trip ab abroad or over water and the best way to pay for it. Even up going online and looking up best deals on on a cruise, or you, know, you could be you could be thinking about going on a cruise. You know, maybe maybe getting something organi uh, organized in November for the for two thousand twenty one. Could be something as simple as that. But when we go to December here, we do have the Six of Swords. You know, when you look at these two cards straight together, both have got water in the cards. Both look like they have got quite choppy water. December, there's going to be a lot of messaging going around. Now, we've got the Eight of Wands here in December, Aries. Either you or someone else, there's going to be a lot of messages. Can be texting, email, can be snail mail can be phone calls also but you're going to be getting a lot of contact and I think it's to to take you away I think you're going to maybe go and have to visit someone that lives further away maybe get a message that maybe a, a, a relative or a friend needs your help and you're going to have to go and see them or you are in a, a bit of a quandary at the moment and by contacting this person you, it's taking you out of it oh but it's going to be different for everybody remember Aries you know you it, this could also do with may, maybe you want to move for employment and you're just having to send out your resume send out application forms doing a lot of um doing, doing a lot of interviews or application forms for new work that's going to take you away from where it is that you stay. Maybe you're having to move for work purposes, Aries. Maybe your job, maybe your job's going to take you away from home. I don't know, it's going to be different for everybody. 
Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. As I said, it's just a little, I just do quick little readings. Um, I hope you get something out of that. Remember, it's going to be different for everybody. Look up your moon sign and your ascendant sign and see if it also ties in with the theme of your reading. Okay, Aries. Well, I'm glad. I hope you stuck around to the end. And I hope to see everybody in 2020, where I hope to get more readings. I've been so busy. I haven't I haven't put up as many videos as I would have loved to have done. I just don't have the time. So I hope to see everybody, speak to everybody. Please let me know if any of this um, comes about in the, in the new year for you. I would I love to hear everybody's messages. Um, and I hope to speak to everybody later. And I hope I stopped saying, mmm, mmm. That's maybe my New Year's resolution. Speak to everybody later. Bye, Aries.